DeepSeek is blowing up the internet right now. Wait, what? And many people are saying that it blows ChatGPT out of the water. And the best part is, it's completely free. So should ChatGPT be concerned? In addition to DeepSeek, the best AI video models are arguably Kling AI, Minimax, and Who You On. And even though DeepSeek just came out, they're already in the process of releasing more powerful and impressive updates, including the ability to generate images. Now it says on this X account that DeepSeek R1 is an AI model from Hong Kong. It's fully open sourced and 96.4% cheaper than OpenAI 01. 01 costs $60 per 1 million tokens, whereas DeepSeek R1 costs just $2.19. That's a big difference. And so speaking of images, here is a latest release. Janus Pro 7B, which can understand and generate images. And so according to this X post, it says performance is better than OpenAI's DAL E3 and Stable Diffusion 3. And again, it's fully open source. And so let's come over here on Rowan's X post and see his quick thoughts where it says GPO demand will not go down. OpenAI is not done for, but open source and China are showing they're far closer than anticipated, which is exciting because competition does make other companies step their game up. And then some more of the key features is one right here called Kimmy. Key features right here, completely free with unlimited usage, real-time web search across 100 plus websites, analyze up to 50 files with ease, PDFs, docs, PowerPoints, and images, advanced reasoning, and enhanced image understanding going beyond basic text extraction. So before we dive in and really test this out ourselves, let's first look at a few things people have already begun to do. And so if we come over here to this X account right here, as we scroll down, just take a look at some of these things. Building games from different languages, and you could see the example right here. Here is a pretty good example. DeepSeek R1 code generator. Extract just the reasoning from DeepSeek Reasoner, which is another cool thing they have where you can toggle between regular DeepSeek and also utilizing their Reasoner. R1 thinks in real time. So you can see right away, it's starting to think, and it's gonna give you instant access to anything that you need. And then another video where you could see implementing a rotating triangle with a red ball. So you could see chat GPT-01 Pro versus DeepSeek R1. And then we can look at the two side by side. The left-hand side is GPT-01 Pro. The right-hand side is going to be DeepSeek. So you could see just right off the bat that, in my opinion, the DeepSeek one does look a little bit more impressive with that rotation. It does seem more smooth and seamless. And then right over here, right away, you could see that it doesn't even flinch when solving some of the most complex math problems. And then users are also coming in here and then basically building their very own perplexity clone, like it says here, in an hour without writing a single line of code. So this does look pretty impressive with everything that this is starting to do. Again, 100% open source and 96.4% cheaper than OpenAI 01 while delivering similar performance and some people are saying even much better. But now let's go and see if you can do some of the most basic tasks that we've always have been accustomed to doing in ChatGPT. For the most amazing prompts and prompts databases, click the links in the description. And another thing I want to do is really test out the prompt generating capacity to where one of the things I always like to show in my videos are providing everybody with some very helpful prompts. So the first thing I'm going to do is that I went ahead and I went over in the Canva and basically just created this fictional stock portfolio where I just went ahead and put in a lot of stock tickers and added some just fictional amount of shares that somebody actually may own. So what I'm going to do is I first want to click and drag this over here. Now, when I did this earlier today, it did do a pretty amazing job. I just basically said, these are the stocks I own. What do you think? And I just simply hand typed out a bunch of different stock tickers. And it really did give me some very thorough details. Okay. So let's go ahead and open up a new chat, but this time actually upload our document. And so for this first one, I'm going to go ahead and select and turn on deep think R1. Okay. The next thing I'll do is simply come in here and drop my PDF document I made in Canva of this fictional stock portfolio. This is my stock portfolio. What do you think and what do you think I can improve? Let's go ahead and now submit and instantly DeepThink is gonna go right into action, assessing everything. And you could 
could see it in real time, it's going to get very thorough with the reasoning right away. Here is the first portion of the text, and then as we go down, it gives me what it thinks right here. Mix of individual stocks, it breaks it down with good strengths, diversification, dividend focus, and international exposure, and then the areas for improvement. And then as I continue to scroll, look at this, it gives me some very good advice for making my stock portfolio even better. So now moving on, let me show you something else that was pretty blown away with by simply asking it a very simple question. And based off of that question, I was able to get a ton of prompts. So what I typed in is this, what is a prompt generator? Okay. And it says thought for 13 seconds. And just off of that, it's going to provide me with a ton of details. Now it really is what is in those fine details, because just by asking it this question, you could really do a deeper dive and really improve your prompting skills. So look at this. It gives me the definition after doing its thinking right here in the beginning. And then it's going to provide me with the key features based on the purpose, creativity, optimization, and customization. Based off of your description I typed in, please provide me with a prompt generator specifically for AI images to be used in tools like Midjourney. Again, it's going to do some deep thinking right here, which is good because you can even learn a lot more on how to improve your skills right here. As we scroll down, here is a customizable AI image prompt generator for these tools, and it gives you this nice template, subject scene, style, artistic medium, details and atmosphere, composition and parameters. Very impressive. So it takes it, it breaks it down for you and gives you a good template and a starting point on how to correctly enter in your specific prompts. And then it gives us a final example prompt generated by that template. Advanced tips for mid-journey specific prompts. Look at this right here. Weighted terms, use colon, space, colon to emphasize elements. Multi prompts, split concepts. So it gives you these details that you may not have been aware about. I do want to show you one thing that Claude refuses to do. That is when you specifically ask Claude to generate a prompt that will create a very very realistic AI image, one that is too hard to distinguish from reality. And so before I show you this live example, look at these images we got from that prompt for Midjourney. This does look pretty amazing. If I plugged in this prompt right here, okay, this is a very long prompt generator. Look, it says, I appreciate you reaching out, but I am to avoid generating prompts specifically designed to create deceptive or misleading AI generated social media content. So I don't really understand what this means. Um, there's nothing unethical about it. So if I take that same exact prompt and now put this one in the deep seek, let's see what this can do. Okay. And then right away, look at this. Let's tackle this prompt engineering task right away without hesitancy. It's just going to go right at it. Now what this is basically doing, this prompt is specifically created to generate some amazing looking AI influencer images. Okay. And that's exactly what it's doing. It's doing the deep thinking. And then here are the brainstorming ideas. And then ultimately I'm going to get some amazing prompts specifically for AI influencers. And here we have it right here. Look at this. These will give you some very good looking AI images of AI influencers, which it even says utilizing the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So beautiful job. This did great with that. But again, for some reason, Claude wouldn't do it because this could contribute to unrealistic beauty standards and potential misuse. So Claude won't do it. DeepSeek will do it. But I do know, just to be fair, that ChatGPT will do it. Okay, so now last but not least, and perhaps my most favorite and most important part is let's test out some legit prompt generators. How good is DeepSeek in becoming my own personal prompt engineer? And so for that, we're going to head over to my prompt engineers or my prompt generators database, basically prompts that generate prompts, allowing you to essentially probably never need prompts again. And it is for every single category imaginable. So I'm first going to open up this one right here and start with just a very simple task. Okay, let's go ahead and copy this and go back into deep seek and paste it in. I'll turn off deep think for a second just to see what this can do. And it's a very simple prompt, but it's just a meta prompt to help me develop other prompts for any thing specifically. And so as it gives us all of the breakdown and information, it says, what is your next specific purpose or goal? Let's just say a prompt for generating AI images. 
Okay, let's go ahead and see what this happens here. Now, while this is thinking, let's go ahead and open up a window in ChatGPT and then give it the same exact suggestion for an AI image. Here is the meta prompt right here. Let's go to deep seek while it is already done and then look at all the information we got. And there we have it. It's gonna give me the meta prompt for generating AI image prompts. And now it's gonna give me a follow up over here. What is your vision for the AI generated image? So please describe the subject. Let's just say beautiful woman. And then I'll just give it a specific age of like 24 years old. I usually like to use this sort of a subject for testing out new AI images or tools because it's gonna give us a pretty good idea and how good of a job it can actually do. So while that's thinking, let's come over here to chat GPT. Here is an example prompt structure. This did a very good job. And now let's see, I'll paste the same exact thing in. And now we'll compare the two prompts that we get. The first one in deep seek, here it is. Create a stunning photorealistic image. Let's go back over here into chat GPT. It's still thinking and here is our prompt. Well, I don't have the prompt yet because it's still going through the objective and doing its version of thinking. So you could see right away, right off the bat, that it's definitely obvious that Deep Seek is gonna be quicker. Okay, now while that's thinking, let's come over here and I really wanna copy this big detailed prompt right here. Now, before we do that, let's take a look at the other images we got from this prompt. Okay, beautiful. Let's open up a new chat and paste in this very large prompt. I will now turn Deep Think back on because this is gonna be a very thorough prompt right here okay so it's going to take a little bit of time to go with the thinking but this prompt is actually a mega prompt it's an engineering prompt that allows you to generate a prompt for any sort of category or any need that you would basically ever need and then here you could see the deep thinking is going to go into some deep thorough thinking right here now once it reaches the very end we're going to actually test out the prompt generator and see how good of a job it can reason back and forth with me and man i have to tell you i did not realize it was going to really deep think this much. It really does do some deep thinking. Just from this prompt alone, I mean, it's still in the thinking process. Look at this. It's going and going and going. So as I scroll to the very end, it now finally provides me with the actual prompt and the structural requirements. Pretty amazing on what this thing can do. It's going to allow me to get a beautiful prompt template for a prompt generator. It took the initiative and it had more of like an assertiveness. So there is one more I really want to take a look at okay i'm going to go ahead and search for it because this is going to be a prompt generator that's going to generate some very good iterations a continual back and forth q a go back into deep seek brand new chat and deep think is still back on let's go ahead and see what this can do now this prompt is going to allow you to really have a back and forth q a to really get the best and most detailed prompt imaginable for anything that you may need so right away it goes into deep thinking whereas in chat gpt new chat over here and i paste it in and instantly it just says what should the prompt be about I'll say write a dystopian movie script. All right, here we have that. Let's copy this because we'll do the same thing in Deep Seek. ChatGPT, it just gets right at it based off of this prompt. It revises the prompt, okay? What this is, is it's a prompt generator that generates prompts. Into Deep Seek, what would you like the prompt to be about? Paste in the same thing, write a dystopian movie script. Now let's hit enter on this one. The whole purpose of the prompt is to give you a prompt right away. So I said I wanted a prompt about writing a story, dystopian subject. That is my prompt. But again, this is a prompt iteration process to where it's going to give me a Q&A. So if I wanted to take it further, I can give it the details as far as the setting specifics, protagonist details, themes, tone and styles, etc. This is chat GPT in deep seek. It's going to do the same exact thing. You can see here setting and world building. It first gives me the initial prompt and I can go back and forth it gives me eight questions I could work with chat GPT gives me six so again it could be because I have deep think turned on but it does provide you with a lot more of a thorough Q&A understanding back and forth now this is just the beginning process of it this can do a lot more other things but I just first wanted to show you some very quick examples and let you see for yourself what this model can actually do but what do you think let me know in the comments below if this is a good or a bad thing or is this going to make chat GPT and open AI and Gemini and Claude step their game up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching.